Hey, good evening. Uh, I just wanted to hop on here real quick uh, to share a little bedtime story per se. Um, this story is called The Breaking News and I'm hoping that maybe I can uh, share a few of my picture books over the next two weeks that we have off um, uh, for the kids to listen to. Uh, like I said, the story is called The Breaking News and it was written and illustrated by Sarah Lynn Rule. And um, kids, when you're reading this, I want us to practice making a text-to-world connection. Now, text-to-world connections are a little bit harder to do than text-to-text and text-to-self. Um, text-to-world is when we relate this to something that's happening currently. Um, and I think this is a really great example of that. So once again, the breaking news. I remember when we heard the bad news. Suddenly, mom is glued to the television and dad can't stop checking his phone. They whisper and I pretend not to hear. It is more than a little scary. I bet you can think of a time when you didn't quite understand something that was going on and you may have thought that, uh, you may have felt a little scared inside. Mom forgets to tuck me in. Dad is too tired for bedtime stories. It seems like everyone else feels it too. Noticing all the faces of the children on the school bus. At school, my teacher says to look for the helpers. Even when the news is bad, you can still find good people trying to make things better in big and small ways. I want to help in a big way. I decide to put on the funniest show ever to make everyone laugh again. But the grown-ups don't feel like laughing. Noticing even the dog is feeling pretty upset. I tell them about the force fields I'll invent to keep us all safe, but their smiles are tiny and sad. I try to be on my best behavior all the time, to be so, so good, but they hardly even notice. I think maybe there's nothing I can do to help in a big way, and I feel small. I like what the illustrator did here. I'm noticing the faces and how the whole house is gray, how everyone's face is sad, drooping. The windows are closed. So maybe I can try to do just one small thing. There's that plant. And maybe another, and another, and one more. Small things don't solve everything. The bad news is still there after all. But then again, so are we. The family's back to building just building that garden just like they were at the beginning. I want to flip back and just do a quick comparison so you can see what the illustrator was trying to show. So in this page, we see the community and we're starting to see maybe some lighter tans, still not bright, but some lighter tans. And the people are now um, in uh, color. But if I go back just a few pages, we see complete gray. That reminds me a little bit of when we read Ida Always and how the author um, 
had a lot of darker colors during that time. And that's the end. So, boys and girls, what I uh, challenged you at the beginning of the book was to find a text to world connection. I know right now it's probably especially scary um, being that we're off for three weeks. You may have actually a few different kinds of emotions. You may be happy to be off from school. You may be sad because you miss your friends. Um, you miss your teacher. You may be confused because you're not quite understanding what exactly is going on. Um, and so that's why... Uh, I'm making a text to world connection because even as a grown up, I feel that same exact way. Um, what I'd like to challenge you all to do as well is as I'm going to this page right here, at school, my teacher says to look for the helpers. Even when the news is bad, you can still find good people trying to make things better in big and small ways. And the little girl in this story, she did many small things to make a difference. So, I'm wondering what kind of small things you can do at your home, um, whether it is just like she did where she was um, trying to make people laugh or helping out with um, household chores or helping her little brother or being kind to her dog. Um, those are all little things that you can do to help out around your house. Um, and just each small thing will add up and make um, a great thing.